was called, she took off my Romeo. <laughs> Tell us a bit about the different types of music you listened to over the years. Well, um, I listened to a lot of uh, Persian music, uh, Persian classical music, and uh, just about everything. Mostly of uh, uh, Middle Eastern music, and then uh, my newest uh, drug is called Chunk. That's uh, uh, music from uh, Okinawa. This, this guy who's out of his mind put put regular drum set and regular uh, instruments together with that traditional Okinawan instruments and came up with this thing that's really frightening. 
And a lot of the stuff that we play is, is influenced by that. It's really, really great st stuff. That guy is out of his mind. His name is Shokichi Kina. And he looks like, he's got all this hair and stuff, a big beard. He looks like an animal. He's a really wonderful cat. Plays fantastic guitar. So the different you know forms of music that you listen to over the years have sort of shaped your, your way of, of doing things, uh, sort of gelled into a, a whole way of putting your music over to. Yeah. Yeah, I always try to keep uh, my ears open when I hear things. And everybody in the band does the same things. I mean, uh, Ian's got tapes of things that, that uh, I never heard. Yeah. That's how Ian wrote, man. Babu, Babu has, has tapes and tapes and, and Jorge uh -huh. uh, and Bernie, too. <laughs> we all got oh. tapes and we listen to them all the time. Yeah. All the time. Books of knowledge. Books of, yeah, really. Uh, there's, as I said, there's a heavy reggae influence on um, on the new album, and uh, is is reggae music uh, a, a difficult form of music to master? It's it's a funny thing. I, I, there's not very many American musicians who can play it. Um, I'm from England, and uh, I sort of knew people like Babu for years and years, and that's how I learned to play it. But in America. They don't, un they don't, they, they sort of go <laughs> like that, and they go, they sort of go, how about a beer, eh? <laughs> and that's about it. It's based, a lot of it is based on Calypso, you know, it's like, to me, reggae is a fusion of Calypso, early rock and roll, doo-wop stuff, you know, it's, it's all like, you know, like they heard this certain thing and they mixed it up with Calypso in the island and it came out to be reggae, rhythm and blues, too, so, you know. Whoever has overlooked that aspect of uh, rock and roll history does not know how to play it.
playing uh, as a background musicians for 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 many people like uh, mostly Jackson Brown, but also for for people like James Taylor and uh, yeah. and even Rod Stewart. Yeah. Uh, this solo career or, or with your career with a band now does that mean that you you won't ever ever do tours with other other people again? Not sessions, not anything. Oh God. He's all mine. <laughs> <laughs> There's a uh, an expression in Japanese, and I, I don't know the, what it is in Japanese, but uh, it boils down to throwing away the scabbard. That's Samurai, the thrown away scabbard is gone. Now serious. So from now on, it's only David Lindley and the band. Oh yes, yes. El Rayo X. Det var David Lindley med band som bland annat heller trommeslagaren Ian Wallace som många kanske husker från den engelska gruppen King Crimson. Efter flera reinkarnationer blev denna gruppen upplöst.